Hey guys, in this video, going to be going over a strong moveset build that you can teach your Absol in the third generation Pokemon games, as well as some additional moves that you could possibly slide in here, and whether these moves are learned through leveling up TM or through other means, and how you can access these respective moves. So Absol, one of the best designed Pokemon in Gen 3, and maybe of all time, and I think that's why a lot of people like to have Absol in their competitive battling team, given its great design. So Absol, its type is Dark, which leaves it immune to Psychic, resisting Dark and Ghost, and then it's weak to bug and fighting. Its ability is pressure, which can potentially have some use in a competitive battling situation where if the opponent uses and targets a move on Absol, that move is going to lose an additional power point. So let's say your opponent has an attack that has five power points. The max number of those moves that it could use on your Absol would be three because the first two moves, it would reduce that power point by an additional point and then it would use that last point and that would exhaust all of the power points for that particular move. So you could see how that could be potentially helpful in a competitive battle. When looking at the stats, we can see that the attack number is off the charts for Absol, a really great number up there at 130, where all of the other numbers are middling to lower tier, where you have special attack and speed each at 75, HP at 65, and then defense and special defense at just 60. And when we look at this competitive strategy of using Swords Dance and Baton Pass, essentially what you're trying to do in your competitive team is use Swords Dance, and you can even throw in a substitute, power up that attack stat with Swords Dance, and then Baton Pass over to another member of your team, maybe one that can take a bit more of a hit than an Absol might be able to absorb. So that's the idea behind this build. I'm also going to give you some additional options of some moves that you can possibly utilize on your Absol, especially if you're not looking to strictly go with a baton pass type build where you're passing off your stats from your Absol to another member of your party. But move number one is going to be Swords Dance, an important piece of any puzzle that you're going to be building on your Absol. This raises the user's attack by two. And when we look, this is a move learned through leveling up and Swords Dance is picked up at level 26. And then once we get down to moves two, three, and four, there's some different options. Now you can utilize swords dance to power up your absol and then deal out damage yourself with things like shadow ball hidden power or some other moves that you can potentially go with that i'll touch on or you can purely try to set up that baton pass using things like a substitute to hide behind while you're increasing your attack stat with sword dance or taunt which is going to make it so that your target can't use status moves against you which can be helpful especially when you're looking to utilize a baton pass so i'm going to touch on how you can access these moves as well as some additional moves that you can potentially go with even if you didn't want to use baton pass on your absol and maybe you're just looking to boost yourself up with swords dance and then have some other move options to go with to try to sweep through your opposition so i'm going to touch on all of that starting with move number two first i'll touch on shadow ball and this is going to be TM30. It's a ghost type move. It works off of that physical attack stat, 80 power, 100 accuracy. This can be found over at Mount Pyre, and it's going to be on the sixth floor. Mount Pyre located in this region of the Hoenn map. And like I said, on the sixth floor on the southern side, that's where you can pick up that TM30. And in Mount Pyre on the sixth floor, it's going to look something like this, and it's going to be located on that southern side of the sixth floor. You can also slot Substitute into this build, and Substitute takes one-fourth of the max HP to put out a Substitute in this place, and that's a nice thing to have, especially when you're trying to power up using a Swords Dance. Being able to hide behind a Substitute can be very beneficial. And Substitute can be learned through a Move Tutor at the top of the Lilicove Department Store in Lilicove City. You can also find this over in Fire Red, Leaf Green in Fuchsia City in front of the Kangaskhan's Pen at the Fuchsia City Zoo, another area where you can get Substitute learned through a Move Tutor. And when we're looking at this build, you can see that that move number two slot has Shadow Ball or Substitute, but you could even do something like a Swords Dance with a Shadow Ball and then Substitute in move number three and Baton Pass move number four. And you can also swap in Hidden Power Fighting and the Taunt. Again, it's just going to kind of depend on what you're looking for to complete this move set. But move number three, we have Hidden Power Fighting. It can be really tricky to get the right kind of hidden power that you're looking for on your Pokemon. Down in the description, I'll link this article on how you can go about calculating how hidden powers work and exactly what type that you're going to get. But again, this can be kind of tricky to figure out. If you're wondering where to pick up hidden power in the third gen games, you can do this in Slateport City, and it's going to be found from the TM salesman, and you can pick up the TM hidden power from that salesman for 3000 and then in that move three slot, we also have Taunt, which for two turns, the target can't use status moves against you. It is a dark type move with 100% accuracy, a utility move that Absol learns through leveling up. If we take a look here, Taunt is going to be picked up at level nine. And I think you can get away with not having Taunt in your build, especially since you're wanting to set up so many different things. You're throwing out a substitute, you're powering up with Swords Dance, you're going to potentially pass on those stats using Baton Pass. It can be hard fitting in a Taunt on top of all of those other moves. 
But again, it is a move that you can slot in here. And then move number four, Baton Pass. The user switches, passing its stat changes and more to the next Pokemon that you switch in. And it will also Baton Pass a substitute, which is why that is also in this build as an option. And Baton Pass is learned through breeding in the Gen 3 games with your Absol. And these are going to be the compatible fathers for that Baton Pass move. And I'll also link this page down in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. And that rounds out what is listed here, but I also want to touch on some additional physical type attacks that you could throw in to your build, especially if you're just looking to potentially power yourself up with Swords Dance and then do the attacking with your Absol instead of Baton passing those stat increases on to the next member of your party. And I have four additional moves here on my list that I want to touch on that you can obtain on your Absol. So Quick Attack has utility given its priority if your opponent has whittled down its health and you want to throw out a quick attack to finish them off, then that can be an interesting move to have in your build. Quick attack is learned through leveling up at level 13 for Absol. And looking over at the TM list, I think you could go with something like TM27 Return. It's using that physical attack stat. And if you have maximum happiness on your Absol, I believe this is going to have 102 power, which is pretty nice to go along with the fact that this has 100 accuracy. And Return can be picked up from Professor Cosmos' house over at Fallibur Town, and you can get this in exchange for a Meteorite with Professor Cosmo. And this is also obtainable in Pacificlog Town. You can actually pick this up every week. And it's going to be from the sibling of the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman. And if the first Pokemon in your party's friendship is high, then you will be gifted TM27 Return. So that's another way that you can pick it up. And I have just a couple more moves that I wanted to touch on. And these are from Move Tutors. And actually, you can get both of these moves from the Battle Frontier Move Tutor. And it's going to be the Left Tutor. And these two respective moves are going to be Body Slam as well as Rock Slide. Body Slam, 85 power, 100 accuracy, as well as that 30% chance to paralyze the opposition. Whereas Rock Slide has 75 power, 90 accuracy, and a 30% chance to make the opponent flinch. So just to do a quick recap here of the additional moves that I just went over... Quick Attack, Learn Through Leveling Up, Return, which is going to be TM27, and then those Move Tutor moves, you could go with something like a Body Slam or a Rock Slide. And they're all working off of that physical attack category. So Absol has a really high attack. You're boosting yourself up with Swords Dance. It's nice to have some different options in terms of some physical type attacks that you can deal out to your opposition, especially if you're considering not using Baton Pass to pass those stats off to another member of your team. The item that I prefer going with on Absol, especially if you're considering using a substitute in your build, would be something like a Leftovers. At the end of every turn, the Holder restores 1 16th of its max HP. And Leftovers can be picked up in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald on the SS title in the storage room in one of the waste bins, or in Ruby and Sapphire in the Battle Tower with a random prize as a streak for 35 or more. Or you can pick it up with 48 Battle Points in Emerald version at the Battle Frontier. Then Salic Berry, it raises the holder's speed by one stage. When you hit one-fourth of your max HP or less, it's a single use. Again, if you're looking to pass those stats on to the next member of your party. But I prefer to go Leftovers in this build. And then the nature, we have Adamant, which is going to increase attack, decrease special attack. And any option that decreases your special attack is going to be a reasonable thing to have for your nature on Absol. Going over to the nature chart, and I'll link this chart down in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Another potential option would be something like a Jolly, which increases speed and decreases your special attack. Not quite as ideal would be increasing your defensive stats, but if you wanted to increase your special defense... Then it would be Careful, which would decrease that special attack. And the other option would be Impish, which increases defense, decreases special attack. But again, Adamant and Jolly would be the two preferred natures to have on your Absol. And that's going to wrap this one up. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. For the resources used in this video, you can find links down in the description. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you back here next time.